Hello pro strikers. Today, we're going to be breaking down one of the slickest southpaw fighters in Muay Thai right now, Danny Rodriguez. The term southpaw originated in baseball where it was used to describe left-handed pitchers. In boxing, and in this instance Muay Thai, it is often used to describe left-handed fighters. Studies suggest that approximately only 10% of people are left-handed, making southpaw fighters far less common. The perfect southpaw fighter in Muay Thai would possess a combination of technical prowess, strategic intelligence, and physical attributes that maximize their advantages as left-handed fighters. With only one defeat in over 40 fights, in a sport where to possess such a record is almost unheard of, makes Daniel Rodriguez an uncommon man amongst uncommon men. Let's start with the technical skills of Rodriguez and take a close look at his boxing techers. Precise punching. Danny Rodriguez is an excellent puncher. Southpaw boxers have their dominant hand, in this case their left hand, as their power backhand, which can create different angles and strategic advantages compared to orthodox fighters. Southpaw boxers are relatively less common compared to orthodox fighters, so they can sometimes pose unique challenges to their opponents who are more accustomed to facing orthodox stances. Danny makes the most of this advantage with his precision punching and ability to stay a step ahead of his opponent. His long reach enables him to catch opponents on the end of his straight punches, at a distance where they think they are safe, and he maximises his physical attributes through clever distance management. When fighting against the southpaw, it is traditional for a fighter to move to their left and stay away from the southpaw power left-sided attack. As Rodriguez hits well with both hands, he can walk opponents into right hooks. The right hook can catch opponents off guard as it comes around the blind spot in the orthodox first southpaw matchup, with both men often hand fighting with the lead hand, bringing them away from their face, and this exposes the opening to the lead hook. <laughs> Danny himself has shown some susceptibility to the left hook when fighting orthodox fighters. Another thing worth noting is Danny will change up the rhythm of his punches, transitioning from single shots into flurries of combinations. This tactic not only allows Danny to score points with bursts and volume, but it can make it difficult for an opponent to find their own rhythm, and unexpected punches in a flurry can catch a fighter by surprise. Strong defense. Skillful in blocking, parrying, evading strikes, Minimising damage whilst conserving energy, Danny has a very complete defensive game. He knows how to nullify the clinch, tying up the arms to prevent an opponent gaining a positional advantage, and Danny uses the clinch to stifle an opponent's punches when needed. His defensive awareness enables him to counterfight effectively. We have already talked in length about his precision punching, which is further complemented by his evasive moves, leaning back and sliding his feet to get him out of the way of oncoming strikes, and giving him the space needed to deliver sharp counter punches. His timing is impeccable. Having spent a long time training and competing in Thailand, Danny knows the game of Muay Thai. He knows how to score and defend the lead, blocking kicks on the back foot or catching a kick to sweep and dump an opponent, punctuating an exchange and keeping him ahead on the scorecards. Clinch proficiency. It is traditional in boxing for a taller fighter to work best at distance, capitalising on their reach and to be able to keep an opponent at arm's length. In Muay Thai, taller fighters have an advantage up close. If a fighter is taller than their opponent, it means their hips are higher, making leg reach a valuable asset in Muay Thai. It makes it easier for an opponent to score with knees to both the head and body. Diesel Noy is regarded as one of the best Nak Moy of all time, known for his devastating knee attacks. <laughs> and he possessed a significant height and reach advantage as he was exceptionally tall for his weight class. Danny isn't a knee specialist, he isn't a Moikow stylist, but he is very proficient in the clinch and his elbow attacks 
can be fight changing. This enables Danny to fight well at both long and short range, making him incredibly hard to beat as he has multiple ways he can win and is able to make mid-fight adjustments when needed. Creativity and adaptability. Danny is certainly a master of the basics and the majority of his work consists of the bread and butter techniques. Straight punches, roundhouse kicks, teeps to the body, all standard stuff you'll see from any Muay Thai fighter. But it's Danny's ability to blend the traditional, more basic techniques with the more flashy and flamboyant moves such as the spinning elbow or jumping knee that make him exceptional. The basics, like a good jab, are used to break an opponent down. This means disorganizing their defense, creating openings and disrupting their rhythm. A well-timed teep may not cause the most damage, but it can be an incredibly frustrating technique to deal with. Like any good fighter, Danny uses the basics to establish control, but he also knows when to let his combinations go and isn't bothered about things getting a little ugly. A common theme with fighters can be getting stuck in their own head, overthinking when to attack and wanting everything to look perfect. Paralysis by overanalysis. Danny has his own flair and isn't scared to do things on the fly. He isn't scared to be a little messy. He's incredibly adaptable and can pull things off in the moment. This, in my opinion, is what makes him so elite. <laughs> This is definitely helped by his overall athleticism. He is both a strong and fast athlete, and as discussed earlier, he possesses physical advantages in both height and reach for the weight class, but it's also his psychology. He is a clever fighter and knows when to change things up and let things go. When an opponent is presenting a defensive posture, for example on the ropes or in the corner with a tie tie guard, he will throw extended combinations and let things go. When he has an opponent hurt, he goes for the finish. He's all about getting the job done, any means necessary. The other element of creativity are things that are very hard to teach. For example, turning a roundhouse kick into a T. or ducking a head kick. Something considered dangerous and risky, but with excellent timing can be pulled off. These are things Danny can pull out of the hat in any moment that many of the Nakmois simply can't. When you combine all this creativity and adaptability with solid fundamentals, you have the recipe for an elite fighter. Danny is a truly exceptional Nakmoy. He's blessed with fantastic genetics and physical attributes, a strong resilient mind, an excellent work ethic, and the unconventional southpaw stance. You have all the ingredients for a near perfect fighter. Danny isn't bound by conventional moves and is willing to experiment with unconventional strikes, angles, and footwork. He's adaptable and able to adjust his strategy on the fly based on his opponent's movements and weaknesses. He'll transition seamlessly between offensive and defensive tactics, and he constantly keeps his opponent guessing. He's faint to deception, his innovative combinations, his understanding of the scoring criteria and how to win rounds, resilience, discipline, mental agility, they all combine to give Danny the potential to be an all-time great Nak Moy. As of this video, he has only one defeat in his career, and that was a controversial decision lost to Yudvitcher, a man he'd already beaten. Time will tell how good Danny will go on to become, but pro striking is definitely a big fan. As always, thank you for watching the video. You can catch me over on Patreon for more breakdowns over there. And feel free to send me a message for any training tips and advice. Pro Shri can appreciate you more than Danny Rodriguez throwing a jumping knee into a spinning back fist. Blue!